What's up guys, Anton here at DPR. This week we're talking about the gorilla. If you're ready, let's jump right into that. Okay, so last week I did two posts about the gorilla gene. Um, and I was absolutely mind blown by the reaction of everybody in the community about that gene. To be completely honest with you guys, I think I've received over a hundred messages about uh, people inquiring about the genes, wanting to have more information. And I'm kind of glad that I did post on that gene on uh, Morph Market Community. I'll put the link down in the description of that article that I wrote about the gorilla. It explains in very uh, great details where did we get that gene from, what have we done with the gene, and uh, a little bit of our understanding of that gene. But before that, I want to show you a single gene gorilla, one of our breeder females, and we'll go from there and a little bit see what we have and what combos we have produced. So this animal here is a proven breeder gorilla female from 2017. Um, we have three of them and luckily enough uh, for us this year, all three females did give us some eggs. Um, so from the bat, the gorilla gene looks similar to a heterodexanthic, so a pretty dark animal with a lot of gray tones, a white dorsal stripe, um, a bit of like a black back snake and some very symmetric Allen heads with a lot of white highlights on the side and a very clear white belly on that snake. So that is the look of the gorilla on its own. It really reminds me of Het Red. And um, from that, this is basically our understanding uh, that we had before that this gene was, would probably hack like Het Rexanthic. So we did a couple years ago, actually in 2017, pair a gorilla to a heterodexanthic combo and we did make the gorilla heterodexanthic and to our surprise we did not hatch an animal that looked like a red exanthic um we had something more like a het red with a very wide stripe on the dorsal and just more darker coloration unfortunately i don't have any pictures of that snake that was back in the time where i just started working here so i was not taking pictures of all the animals um but we did make that snake uh, back then. Afterwards, the goal uh, of mine was basically to see if the gorilla had the potential to do a little bit of it like a pewter combo, so like a pastel cinnamon, something very gray. Um, oftentimes, a lot of dark genes will interact that way. Uh, you can think about like the pastel, heteroxanthic, we'll make a pastel that's way more in the gray tones than the vivid yellows. We did that pairing to, uh, it was basically a gorilla to a Enchi pastel ivory female and we did make a Enchi pastel gorilla yellow belly and one version without Enchi and to be totally honest with you guys um, I was really expecting to see a dull looking snake and the colors were super vivid the yellows were really there so that's not quite what I expected from the gene but we kept them for a year then we wholesaled them but as during the time we kept them they really had uh, very dark blacks. Um, that's really one thing that I could have noticed. Other than that, they look similar to a pastel yellow belly and an she pastel yellow belly, but just with very, very dark black. That was a mistake to wholesale them. Um, and the main reason, uh, honestly, we discovered that this year and we'll go back a little bit at the end of the video. So is the gorilla gene recessive, incomplete, dominant? What is it exactly? As far as we know, it's not recessive. Actually, we can say that it is not recessive. Um, we're leaning more towards an incomplete dominant that has an interaction a little bit like leopard, um, in a sense that the supers won't have that much of a different look. This animal here is basically a potential super gorilla that we made um, basically in 2021. That animal came from gorilla to gorilla pairing, so I don't know exactly if it is the case. Um, we only had six eggs back then, so we could have easily missed the odds on the super form. But this is right now our understanding of the super gorilla. We're repeat preparing again to have a better idea, but this could be the super gorilla. Moving on to the 2023 gorilla stuff that we hatched. Right in front of you right now, we have a single gene GHI, um, nothing else added on top. This is basically plain GHI, dark animal, very banded look, exactly everything you'd expect from a GHI. And we basically made the gorilla version. So this animal here is the gorilla GHI. As you can see, that back dorsal is extremely widened. You have much more black pigment there. The striping is very different, much less gold coloration, more on the bold blacks. 
and on the alien heads you have way more orange colors uh, than the actual non-GHI version. So very dark snake, absolutely mind-blowing animal um, in the interaction. We basically wanted to see what the gorilla gene could do with very dark genes. We've also added different genes inside of that combo. So this animal there is basically a GHI fire, no gorilla, and we made also the gorilla version. Fire as a brightening gene makes the gorilla a bit more subtle, but you'll still very well be able to see the differences that I'm talking about. So you still have a very wide dorsal when it comes to the patterns in between, much darker animal. The banding is very different from this animal, as you can see on those sides than on this one. This one's more reduced, more of a single striped uh, type of bands than just like the very big bands that you have on the GHI fire. So these animals basically are a little bit of what we discovered this year, but the biggest, biggest discovery is when we paired it to Blackhead. All right, so we have right now a Blackhead in front of you. This one is actually Het for Lavender. Um, so the pairing was a Blackhead Lav to Gorilla. So this is the single gene Blackhead, very beautiful gene, the Blackhead on its own, rich blacks, white dorsal, great brown pigments and leaning a little bit towards the orange. So we really wanted to see the interaction of Blackhead and Gorilla together. And this second snake is basically the Blackhead Gorilla. Move this one away. So this basically is the Blackhead Gorilla. So we have everything we loved about the Blackhead, those rich, rich blacks that are now really boosted up by the Gorilla version. And those sides are absolutely astonishing. You have some super rich black from the dorsal going all the way to the little bit of white ish grayish flaming that you get on the sides this is for both ways on that snake this animal is absolutely mind-blowing super super cool interaction of the ghi and blackhead together um, so yeah, those two genes are really what floored us when it comes to the potential of the gorilla. Uh, we're really, really excited to see where we can go from there. Uh, obviously, this animal is a het lavender, so we could be making the lavender version. I think the amount of purple is going to be absolutely insane on those snakes. Um, we had some people like uh, Jaffe uh, from Jaffe Exotics actually uh, talk to us about some ultramel possibilities. That could be another really, really interesting uh, route to explore with the project. And guys, those snakes, they are absolutely insane in person, but I cannot wait to start working that gorilla into the clown version we've made. I'll show you right now on the screen, we've made a cinnamon gorilla head clown. Uh, this should be really exciting as well as we make it into visual clowns. I think that the yellow belly in there, we have never seen yellow belly in gorilla. Uh, besides with pastel. So just a yellow belly gorilla on its own, that should be super interesting. And even actually as clowns, as hypos, as DGs. So the gorilla is super exciting. I'd like to know down in the comments what you think about that gene. Uh, and obviously we'll have more available next season, hopefully. So if you have any more questions, you can go down in the description and read the article that I uh, wrote about the gorilla gene and let me know down what you think about it and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram page for daily content and check our Morph Market for available animals. We'll see you soon. Cheers.